Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to talk to you about how to create a matching assessment inside a Smart Notebook using the Smart Response System. So what I have here as an example is a map of the world with all the continents broken out as my options for matching and then numbers on each one of those continents. Very simple activity for kids to go through and just show their understanding. Pretty low level, but I think you'll get the point. Now what I've done is I've set up this screen and then my second slide is a list of the continents. And this list corresponds directly with the list that is here. And so what this allows me to do is it allows me to give this assessment only from this page because all my results are here. To use this technique, what you do is you set up your first page with all the matching techniques. Now, one of the things that you do need to remember is that you only have 10 possibilities for matching. So you might have to make two different pages if that's important to you or if that's something that you need to do. But you only have 10 different possibilities for matching. So going back to my slides, so my next step is to go in and clone this page. Now when I clone this page, it's going to ask me if I want to group these questions together. Chances are I do, because if this is something that I'm going to be taking a grade for, I definitely want to group those together. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to create my title page. And then just click Add. That gives me a title page at the beginning, and now I have my map and two other pages. Now I have seven questions total so I need to make seven pages of that same question. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clone this page and I'm gonna do that seven more times, a total of seven times. So I have nine slides total, seven of them are questions, two of them are the title and this page. Now my next step is to come up here to my response drop down and go to set all answers. Now when I go in and set all the answers, what this is going to do is going to give me the option to tell which is the correct answer. So I know that I did North America, South America, and I'm just going to go through and set each of these answers all the way down and then click done when I'm when I finish. Now, when I click on this button right here to start the assessment, I can go ahead and start that assessment, but all I have to do is show them this page and the students on their Senio response handset or their smart response handset, they will see number one and then they will just put in A through G, whichever continent corresponds with that number. So that's how you can go about doing this. You can do this with a lot of different things. This is just a pretty simple example. But I think the ability to do matching questions just as a checking for understanding, just to see where they are, at this point you'll know whether or not you need to go back in and reteach. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot.